Hey students, do you know that empirical formula and molecular formula are actually derived from mathematical concepts? So which mathematical concepts are used to derive empirical formula and molecular formula? Hi, I'm Teacher Tan. If you like my videos, do remember to press the subscribe button below and click on the bell so that you won't miss any notifications when I update my channel. Today, I'm going to share on what are the mathematical concepts that are used to derive molecular formula and empirical formula, the definition of molecular formula and empirical formula, and I'm going to show you step by step on how to determine empirical formula. This is a picture of a house. From this picture, can you tell me this house is made out of how many green squares, how many brown triangles, and how many pink rectangles? By doing simple counting, we'll find out that there are 15 green squares, 9 brown triangles, and 3 pink rectangles making up the house. These 15, 9 and 3 are basically the actual number of each shape making up the house. 15, 9 and 3, these 3 numbers also having same common factor which is 3. So 15 can also be divided by 3 to give us 5. 9 also can be divided by 3 to give us 3. And 3 can also be divided by 3 to give us 1. This new set number is the simplest whole number ratio of each shape making up the house. The actual number and simplest whole number ratio concepts are being used to derive two chemistry terms. The first one is called molecular formula and the second one is empirical formula. What is molecular formula? Molecular formula is a chemical formula which shows the actual number of atoms of each element in a compound. Empirical formula is the chemical formula which shows the simplest whole number ratio of atom of each element in a compound. The picture here is the 3D molecular structure of glucose molecule. The black atom represents carbon, the white atoms represent hydrogen, and the red atoms represent oxygen. If we do the counting properly, there are 6 carbon atoms in glucose molecule, 12 hydrogen atoms in a glucose molecule, and there are 6 oxygen atoms in a glucose molecule. And these 6, 12 and 6 are the actual number of atoms of each element in the glucose molecule. And this is consistent with the molecular formula definition and hence the molecular formula of glucose is C6H12O6. Mathematically, 6126 can be simplified by dividing all the numbers by 6. So 6 divided by 6 giving us 1, 12 divided by 6 gives us 2, and 6 divided by 6 gives us 1. And this new set of number is the simplest whole number ratio of atom of each element in glucose and this is consistent with empirical formula definition hence the empirical formula of glucose is CH2O now we shall look at what is the relationship between molecular formula and empirical formula molecular formula is equal to empirical formula subscript n and what is n n is whole number multiple and can be calculated by dividing molecular weight of a compound with the empirical formula weight. We have seen what is empirical formula and what is molecular formula. So the rest of the video, I will guide you on how to determine empirical formula. To determine empirical formula, basically there are a few steps to follow through. The first step is to construct a table with rows to fill in element, mass, moles, mole ratio and empirical formula. Step number two is to calculate moles of each element and in step number three, we calculate mole ratio and in step number four, we can write down the empirical formula based on the mole ratio we get in step number three. Examples in these questions, 
you have been given 2.114 samples of Fox gene and this Fox gene substance consists of 0.26 gram carbon 0.347 gram of oxygen and 1.537 gram of chlorine and ask you to determine what is the empirical formula of this substance so how to determine the empirical formula we just need to follow through the four steps step number one is to construct a table to fill in elements mass of element moles mole ratio and empirical formula and in these questions remember we have been given the elements carbon oxygen and chlorine so we can fill them in first and also we have been given the mass of each element so also can fill in first and then in step number two calculate the moles for each of the element so how to calculate moles again mass divided by molar mass so the mass of carbon 0.26 gram divided by the molar mass of carbon atom 12 gram per mole to give you 0.02167 moles of carbon atom. How to calculate moles of oxygen atom? Again, mass divided by molar mass 0.347 gram divided by molar mass of oxygen 16 gram per mole to give you 0.02169 moles of oxygen atom. How to calculate moles of chlorine? Again, mass divided by molar mass. The mass of chlorine 1. 537 divided by molar mass of chlorine atom 35.5 gram per mole to give you 0 0.04330 moles of chlorine atom. Step number three is to calculate the mole ratio. How to calculate mole ratio? We need to divide the moles with the smallest number of moles. So the smallest number of moles here is 0 0.02167. So means that all the moles need to divide by 0.02167 so for carbon 0.02167 divide by 0.02167 to give you one for oxygen again 0.02169 divide by 0.02167 also giving you simplest whole number ratio one and for chlorine 0 0.04330 divided by 0 0.02167 to give simplest whole number ratio 2. Hence, the empirical formula for the substance phosgene is CO Cl2.